boxing truth here. All right. Let's talk about Devin Haney, who finally did what I've been asking him to do for quite some time. He has finally acknowledged his mandatory challenger or former mandatory challenger when he was the WBC World Lightweight Champion. He has finally called out Javier Fortuna. A round of applause. A round of a fucking applause. I mean, that's a step in the right direction. I mean, just, you know, not too long ago, Devin Haney was not even uttering the words of Javier Fortuna. Wasn't even acknowledging the mandatory in Javier Fortuna and was really quick to uh, give away the strap that was given to him when man- when Javier Fortuna was installed as the mandatory challenger. Devin Haney's reign as WBC champion came and went. was one of the quickest reigns ever. And now he said he's off recess. Being a champ- champion in recess has rules and regulations. And uh, WBC has to... They got to come up with a solution here. Because... Of the Fortuna Campbell fight being canceled, which is which was supposed to be for the lightweight title, and Devin Haney still claiming that he's still the dub, the love WC lightweight champion of the world, even though he's been put on recess, and that technically means you're no longer the the, the true WC champion. You have to come back and fight for the title, or perhaps fight a considered a qualified challenger, or you get first dibs. Uh, whoever becomes the WC champion in the interim while the champion recess is recovering. Well, Devin Haney has stated he's recovered from the so-called shoulder surgery. It's a uh, it's a unique situation because the fight didn't take place between Fortuna, or it's not going to take place between Fortuna and Campbell. We would have gotten a champion out of that bout for what was what was going to be the vacant strap they were going to fight for the vacant title since Devin Haney was unable to defend since he was on on the shelf with a so called soldier shoulder surgery so it's going to be uh, an interesting situation WC has to come up with now I mean what is the truth who is the WC champion Is Devin Haney still the WC champion, even though he was put on recess? Why not just ask for an extension instead of giving away the strap? As Haney really had no intentions of fighting Fortuna when he was installed as the mandatory challenger. But now all of a sudden, he's saying he can get this work, but still claiming to be the WC lightweight champion. Mauricio Sumon has some explaining to do. I mean, what is the deal? Who is the WBC lightweight champion? Since Lomachenko is the franchise champion, whatever the fuck that means. You got Haney in recess being gifted a strap, then giving it right back. And now still claiming to be the champion of WC and lightweight division. And you got Fortuna and Campbell, who was supposed to fight next month for the vacant title to fulfill the hole that Devin Haney left while being on the shelf. And now claiming to be 100% fit and ready to go. But finally Haney acknowledged what would be considered the best opponent to date of his young career. A guy who was doing a lot of noise, making a lot of noise, doing a lot of talking, doing a lot of chirping. But not really backing it up with the opponents, the desired opponents that the fans want to see him in. Wants to uh, make call outs to even fighters in the welterweight division. Wants to fight a washed Adrian Broner when he knows damn well he doesn't, that fight's never going to happen. Wants to state, wants to call out fights that are not going to happen. Wants to throw the idea that he's moving up to 140 pounds when there is clearly a, a significant lightweight fight that can easily be made in the division. 
All he had to do was wait for the Campbell Fortuna winner, and that would be his most significant fight to date. But now he's claiming he's still the WC champion. So what is it? What it's what is the actual truth here? Is Haney still the, the recess champion? Does he have to wait until Campbell and Fortuna to get in the ring and decide who is the current WC lightweight champion? Or will Mauricio Suleiman, at their discretion, already install as Haney as the champion? And I guess Campbell and Fortuna are going to fight for an interim title if that fight ever takes place. So maybe Haney has to take a back seat and wait for the winner. Or maybe Mauricio Suleiman will hand out another gift and just give the belt back to Devin Haney. We shall wait and see. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.